Welcome to room two of the Mink Gallery, Art in the Age of COVID, staying closed in June, but I wanted to take you through this uh, somewhat darker and more textured room. This first tall painting on the wall, 48 by 24, looks vaguely to me like continents in a, a melting or overriding sea. Uh, technically, this was made with acrylic skins, which are dried transparent medium that I put on and then tore off. So it reveals some uh, raw canvas, but then there are many layers of ink and acrylic. Next to that is one of the first in my Vanished Kingdom series. I call it Terra Incognita. Uh, I love the gray and pink together, and there's a lot of drawing detail, architectonic lines. This is from 2009, when I was doing a lot of art and science. It reminds me of Georgia O'Keeffe's uh, skeletons that she did, uh, also some electric current. And next to it is something, actually the last painting I did uh, this year. I haven't done anything since uh, the lockdown started really. This was my last one. I call it uh, a, a new perspective, trying to put things in a, a larger context. And the night sky is, as you know, endlessly fascinating. So it's a combination of precise <laughs> drawing and then how the eye interprets stars. 2010, I did a series called ABEX, Abstract Expressionism. This is kind of riotously colorful, uh, primitive lines, not a lot of uh, control, but a pattern and a design. And I just, I love the colors in this. This is a big 48 by 48. This is Tracks in the Snow. This looks like what you can see in an Ithaca winter, whether it's animal tracks or whirling twigs. Another big one, this is 60 by uh, 48. This is actually ABEX 1. This is the first one I did in this series. There's a lot of texture underneath, a lot of built up with medium and paint. So I can just imagine that this is just the surface and underneath is a lot more color that's for the moment obscured. A lot of energy here, I think. This is another example of um, using acrylic skins and then tearing them off. And this looks like a, a journey to me. Uh, I don't know to where, but I, I like the colors and you can see some of the shininess on top are where the acrylic skins still exist. And this I call night hydrangeas. I actually did this in the beginning of this year. Um, Hydrangeas are one of my favorite flowers. And if you look outside and use your imagination, you can probably see them glowing. But this looks like hydrangeas at night. A little bit ghostly, a little bit colorful. <laughs> so thank you for looking at uh, the Mink Gallery in June. My hope is that I can uh, maybe open the gallery in July or August for by invitation or small groups, but we'll see. In the meantime, I appreciate your taking the time to view.